again, guys. So I'm First Class V back with step nine of our demand analysis series, and that's process the MRP forecasting requirements for plant 2000. All right. So like I said in the previous videos, we just learned how to export, uh, create the Microsoft Excel documents, give it to the maintenance manager for review, recommend any changes. The commander looks at it, either accepts, rejects, or make changes to this. And now we're actually getting ready to go into the system and actually, um, I guess, post the differences, if you want to call it, or, or change. So I don't know if you had a chance to look at it, but on GCSS Army, they have the transaction guide, which is about 90 pages long, right? So there's a lot of steps. Um, yeah. It's pretty crazy. It's a, it's a lengthy process, but using the Microsoft Excel, we're going to we're going to be using. I want you to remember two things: zero, one. Okay, so one will be true, you know, so forth. All right, so those two numbers are what we're going to use to actually control C, control V into the system and make our changes and speed up the process. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into um, GCSS Army, and we will go from there. Um, by the way, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Um, I'm always looking for ideas for new videos. So if you have any uh, recommendations or something you want to learn, please keep that in mind. Um, yeah. Go ahead and share my screen here. All right. Come on. Jeremy, a little slow today. So, by the way, the key code we're going to be using for this is Zcon1. All right, so keep that in mind. Don't get it confused with Zcon1 Delta. Um, yeah, so like I said, this next step is a little bit lengthy, but we will uh, complete this. So, Zcon1, boom. You'll type in your MRP area. You'll hit execute. And it's going to pull up everything that we currently did inside of our, uh, our Excel workbook. Now, once that's done, right, you're going to click recalculate confirmed. All right. So if you look, we recalculated. Uh, when the confirm retention deletions are recalculated, the material lines and bench stock indicator are included in the calculation. All right. The initial calculation that is displayed um, excludes material lines of a bench stock indicator. So if you look here, where it says bench stock indicator. All right. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to choose our layout. Right. We're going to choose layout and choose layout. That's the one I want right there. So it should already default. Sometimes it defaults, sometimes it doesn't. All right. So now we're going to scroll a little over to the right. We just want to verify some stuff first. All right. Yeah, that's good. All right. See where it says add, delete, retain. We're going to click that. All right. We're going to hit the little filter button. And we're going to type uh, type in R. We do our R's first. All right. So here's our R's. OK, so click the space directly above. Good to go on that. Next thing we want to do is we're going to open up our Microsoft. Um, Excel workbook and we're actually going to go from here. All right. So like I said, make sure you know what you saved it. Um, and go from there. So when we go here to add, delete, retain, we're going to put our filter to R. All right. So this is just going to show our R's. Okay. So you click the R, you're going to click the OK. And then from there, you're going to click the horizontal. You go there, display more data if you need to. But the calculated reorder points, all right. So, control shift down, 
So you can either do control C, control V. I'm going to do control C. All right. You're going to copy it. And what you're going to do is you're going to go back into the system here. And where's the adjusted column? Click here. All right. So if you get this error, right, the reason is because you need a stock. Come on, man. All right, so we're going to, once that's done, you can probably, like I said, you'll put that in there. Uh, or alt tab. Go from here. I'm going to confirm. Going to approve. Select. So zero deleted, zero adds, three retains. So when we go back into it, if you look, our retains, right? So we're almost there. So we're going to go back and filter again. Set filter. We're going to go to alpha. All right, now pull down our Excel says spreadsheet. Like I said, control C, you'll exit out of that. You'll go to calculated reorder points. All right. We're going to confirm. Going to approve and save. Yes. Seven add records to the table. Boom. We're going to go back in. Now, if you notice, when we're going back in here, right? So, see where it says confirmed, deletes, confirmed, confirmed. All right. So, just keep that in mind. So, boom, calculate reorder point, 7, 10, 13. I just want to go through this one more time here and make sure that we're confirming. Oh, I hit the wrong button. All right. I'm trying to pull up my Excel. So, like I said, um, yeah, once, once you confirm, approve, delete, and so forth, right, you have to go back to the MRP area. Like I said, I do it just like that. I export and I export and go from there. So, like I said, in this video or this unit didn't really have any uh, deletes. All right, the army a little slow here. All right, so see, we got one left, which is your door, um, previous and CV. All right, so. All we're going to do is we're going to confirm this. Approve, save, boom, born, boom. So now our report should be, uh, why didn't this save? No data found. So. There you go. There are demand analysis and posting our differences from our Excel spreadsheet is complete. So if you go back into it and 
you still see stuff, it means your demand analysis isn't completely closed out. But, like I said, it'll say no data found the process. So everything on the demand analysis has been processed. All right, so this video, like I said, if you if you have a lot of SSL and all this stuff, it's gonna take you a little bit longer, but I encourage you uh, to print out the, uh, the transaction doc. Like I said, it's 88 pages long and it breaks it up step by step for add, delete, and retains and go uh, go from there. But yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a it could be a long process depending on how much you actually uh, you actually have, right? So that is that. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, like I said, in in near future, we're going to go actually print off the, uh, the commander's reports and so forth so that we can file and we can actually get credit for CDPs for our demand analysis being conducted. Um, hope this video was helpful. Um, stay tuned for the last couple of videos of the demand analysis series. And from there, we will start a new series. As always, go ordinance.